Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Lisette. Hello, Beatriz. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, everybody. Good night for everyone. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today, Roberto? Uh, really fine. Oh, you are fine. Very Listen. bossy. Very bossy in my job. Ah, today was a very busy day. Okay, you were busy at your work. Uh, hello, Hi. Hazel. Good evening. Good evening, hello. thanks. Good evening, thanks. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class, Hazel. It's nice to see you tonight. Yeah. Hello, Francisco. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's start with tonight's class. Do you have any question about the platform? Do you have any question? A problem with some exercises. Problemas con algún ejercicio. No problems at all. No hay ningún problema. For the moment, no problem. No problem. No problem. Okay, excellent. In which section are you working? In qué sección estamos trabajando? Which section are you working on? Section In my case, number four. four. Oh, section number four. Bueno. Good evening, um, everyone. Hello, Manuel. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. How are you tonight? Ah. Uh, Working in, in the in the project the Minel, but uh, what do you say? Nos dieron prórroga para el lunes. Um, they give us time. They give, they us, give us time. They give us for time for the Monday and um, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, a uh, interview with the directors of Minel. Ah, okay, you are going to have an interview with them. Okay. And I work in the section four. <laughs> you are working in section four, right? that's excellent. Okay, don't forget about that, right? Tomorrow, um, we are going to be checking your progress on the platform. El día de mañana vamos a estar revisando eh, su progreso en la plataforma. And it is important, right? Es importante que usted ya haya completado por lo menos el 80%. Espero que todas sus gráficas, ¿verdad? Ya están arriba del 80% para el día de mañana. Then, that is collaboration and assessment. What is it? Collaboration and assessment not under contract. What is that, Manuel? Uh, eh, esa, um, uh, let me see. My contract is a consulting. Ah, okay. You have a contract um, with the Minet. Como, como, como consultor, teacher? To be a consultant. A consultant. Ah, okay. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Then um, I was telling you that it's important that you get more than the 80%, right? So okay. this is the last weekend. Uh, the next week we are going to finish this course. So please, it's important that you finish the platform. Es importante que este fin de semana, ¿verdad? tomorrow, is Saturday and Sunday, you complete the platform, please. I am sure that you are going to do that. So I'm not to worry about that. 
I'm sure that you are going to finish during this coming weekend. So let's see, uh, let's start with today's class. We have been studying about the simple past, irregular and also regular verbs. So tonight we're going to continue studying simple past, but we are going to study another verb. That is a singular verb. Let me show you the topic of tonight. I'm sharing my screen with you, so please let me know if you can see it. Yes, teacher. Thank you, Roberto. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, this is topic for tonight, simple pass with the verb to be. What is the meaning of this verb? What is the meaning of the verb to be? Zero is zero is that okay excellent in simple present it has three forms se acuerdan cuáles son las tres formas del verbo to be in presente simple it has three really not. I am and is are excellent uh, um are um is an are excellent uh, so you just so you say, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, and they are. Ahora, en el pasado, solo tiene dos formas. It has just two forms, and we are going to study them tonight. Uh, look at this. The verb in simple past tense has two forms. The verb be in simple past tense has just two forms, was and were. Was and where? Just two forms. And ¿Cómo vamos a utilizar eso? How are we going to use this? We are going to use was and where in the following way. Look at this. In this part, I have affirmative sentences. So let's see. I'm going to use was with the following personal pronouns. I was, he was, she was, and also with it was. So it says, I was happy, he was hungry, she was a nurse, it was a big dog. So with this personal pronouns, I'm going to use was, and I'm going to use were with the following, we, you, and they, we were, you were, and they were. So we say, we were early, you were at the school, they were quiet. So don't forget this, was and where are the two past forms of the verb to be. And we're going to use it in this way. How to make sentence? Easy, subject, verb be in past, complement, easy. So subject, was or where, and a complement. And you have an affirmative sentences with the verb be in simple past. I volunteer to read this example, please. Who wants to read it? Thank you, Roberto. Me or my you, you, Roberto. You, Roberto, please. Okay, okay. So sorry. I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. It was a big dog. Thank you very much. So, what's the meaning of the first sentence? I was happy. You estaba feliz. Excellent. That is the correct meaning. Yo estaba feliz. No more, right? I am not happy in this moment, but I was happy. He was hungry. What's the meaning of this sentence? El, el, el tenía hambre. Yo tenía hambre. Okay. Estaba hambriento. She was a nurse. Ella fue enfermera. Ella era una enfermera. Ella era o ella fue una enfermera. It was a big dog. Fue, fue, un gran un gran perro. fue un gran perro. Fue un gran perro, o fue un perro grande. A volunteer, please, to read the following three examples with where. Me, teacher. Thank you, Sobeida. We were early. You were at the school. They were 
quiet. Quiet, okay, excellent. We were early, you were at the school and they were quiet. Excellent, what's the meaning of the first one? We were early. Llegamos temprano. Nosotros llegamos temprano. Okay, estuvimos temprano. You were at the school. Estuvimos en la escuela. Ustedes, ¿verdad? Estuve en la escuela. Sería ustedes estuvieron en la escuela o tú estuviste en la escuela. And the last one, they were quiet. Ellos estuvieron quietos. Ok, ellos estuvieron quietos, tranquilos. Callados. Callados. They were quiet. Así como eran ustedes de estudiantes, ¿verdad? You were quiet. You were quiet students. Uno le sacaban canas verdes a sus maestros. Your teachers. And no. then, no, okay. You are a good student, I am sure. So negative sentences. Uh, to make a negative sentence, we are going to add not after the verb be. Después del verbo to be, vamos a agregar not. And look at this example. I wasn't sad. He wasn't hungry. She wasn't a nurse. It wasn't a big dog. We weren't early. You weren't at the school. They weren't quiet. So wasn't is the contraction of was plus not. Weren't is a contraction. Were plus not. Wasn't and weren't. So I wasn't sad. What is the meaning of the sentence? I wasn't sad. Mm, no estaba triste. Excellent. He wasn't hungry. Él no estaba hambriento. Él no tiene hambre. Él no estaba hambriento. She wasn't a nurse. Ella no fue enfermera. Ella no era una enfermera. Excellent. It wasn't a big dog. No fue un perro grande. Ok. No era un perro grande. No fue un perro grande. We weren't early. No estuvimos temprano. No estuvimos temprano. Excellent. We weren't early. You weren't at the school. No estuvimos no, en la escuela. Ah, muy bien. Esto le decía a su mamá cuando llegaba a casa. You weren't at the school. Tú no estuviste en la escuela. Where were you? ¿Dónde estuviste? They weren't quiet. No estuvieron quietos. No, no estuvieron. Estaban tranquilos. callados. No estaban callados. Ya no estaban quietos. Ok, excelente. Now let's see the next question. How we are going to make question with the verb to be in simple past. That is kind of easy. To create question with to be in past, you put the verb before the subject. Vamos a poner el verbo a primero, ¿verdad? En la oración antes del sujeto. At the beginning of the sentence, before the subject. Look at this example. This is an affirmative sentence. You were happy. Tú estabas feliz. Estamos afirmando que usted estaba feliz. You were happy. Subject and verb. To make a question, we are going to write the verb be at the beginning of the sentence. Were you happy? And we have the question mark. So it's easy. The verb be is at the beginning of the sentence. Subject, complement, and the question mark. Were you happy? How we are going to answer this question? ¿Cómo vamos a responder esas preguntas? So, si yo le pregunto, were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, that is a correct answer. Thank you. Yes, I was. Sí, yo estaba feliz. Yes, I was. So let's see the examples. Let's see. Question examples. I was late. This is an affirmative sentence. I was late. Estuve tarde. Llegué tarde. Was I late? Estuve yo tarde. You were sick. It's another affirmative sentence. Tú estuviste enfermo. Now the question is, were you sick? Estuviste enfermo. He was surprised. Él estaba sorprendido. Was he surprised? She wasn't from Italy. Was she from Italy? 
it was a big house. Was it a big house? We were ready. Were we ready? Nosotros estábamos listos. Estábamos nosotros listos. Were we ready? You were early. Were you early? They were busy. Were they busy? So it's kind of easy. We write the verb Teacher, at the beginning of the sentence. Tell me. Uh, I understand the question number four. She was from Italy. O sea, ella fue italiana. Oh, uh, she was from Italy. Yes, she was. Ella fue de Italia. She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? Era ella de Italia? Creo que tiene más lógica la... Teacher. Yes. Bueno. The stru structure for question is was where, más subject, más complement. Yes, we are going to use that. The structure we are going to use was or word, subject, and complement. And the question mark at the end. Okay, any other question? If no more question, let's see this. How to answer this question? Look at this, was I late? And you say, yes, you were. No, you weren't. Si yo le pregunto, llegué tarde? Was I late? Yes, you were. Si usted llegó tarde. No, you weren't. No, usted no llegó tarde. Were you sick? Estuvo usted enfermo? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was he surprised? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Was she from Italy? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Was it a big house? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were we ready? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Were you early? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Were they busy? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. So look at this, we're going to answer with we, because this is plural. Estuvieron ustedes temprano? Sí, nosotros estuvimos. No, nosotros no estuvimos temprano. So this is the way we're going to answer with short answer. Do you have any question? Two volunteers, I need two volunteers to practice at this part. Who wants to participate? Me teacher. Me teacher. Thank you, Manuel and Vanessa. Manuel, you are going to read the question. And Vanessa, you are going to choose one. One of these answers. You can choose a affirmative answer or a negative short answer. So you can start, please. Okay. Was I late? Yes, you were. Were you sick? No, I was. Was he surprised? Yes, he was. Was she from Italy? No, she wasn't. Was it a big house? No, it wasn't. Were we ready? Yes, we were. Were you early? Yes, we were. Were they busy? No, they weren't. Thank you. You did an excellent job in this part. Thanks a lot. Just the last word. Were they busy? Were they busy? No, they weren't. So busy is the pronunciation of the word. Thanks a lot. You did a great job in this part. So now look at this small conversation. We're going to read this. And it says, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? 
No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. So this is the conversation between Chuck and Melissa. Right? Where are they? In qué lugar están ellos? Okay. Where are they? In qué lugar está platicando? USA. In the USA, right? In the place of beauty salon. Yes. So the first question, where were you born? Melissa, what is the meaning of this question? Where were you born? Donde nació naciste. Donde naciste. I was born in Korea. Yo nací en Korea. And it's also you weren't born in the U.S. Así que no naciste en los Estados Unidos. No, I came here in 1999. Vine aquí en 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? What's the meaning of this inspiration or this question? Did you go to college right away? We was at la escuela. Esta expresión right away significa de inmediato. ¿Fuisteas a la escuela de inmediato? Mm. No. Dice que no porque le costé, tenía dificultad de hablar inglés. Yes, that is the right answer. No, my English wasn't very good. Mi inglés no era suficientemente bueno o tan bueno. So I took English classes for two years first. So she took two years of English classes before to go to college. Well, your English is really good now. Bueno, tu inglés es muy bueno ahora. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Tu inglés es muy bueno también. Yeah, but I was born here. Sí, pero yo nací aquí. So now look at this example. I was born in Korea. Verb be in simple past. You weren't born in the US. Another example of simple past with the verb be. You were pretty young. Tu eras muy joven. I was only 17. Can you find any other example with the verb be in simple past in this small class? Wasn't. No, uh, my English wasn't very good. Thank you. Any other example? Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, thank you, Mario. Excellent. So, I need teacher, to volunteer. Teacher, yes. Eh, college no sería la universidad. No el. Creo okay. que la escuela es. Ok. School es school. escuela. High school, High school es bachillerato. College es university. Universidad. Ok. Universidad. To volunteer to practice this small conversation, please. Me, hey, teacher. Me, teacher. Eh, Heidi and Jose y me, can you please repeat? Where were you born, Melissa? A volunteer, please, to practice in this part. I was born in Korea. Thank you, Kelia. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Excellent job. Thanks a lot. Now, so you, can you please repeat this? Uh -huh. 1999. 
Thanks a lot. 1999. I hate 1999. Yes. I confused. Ah, okay. Ese es en el año 9999. Okay, 1999. Thanks a lot. And this other work, classes. So I took English classes for two years first. Classes. Any, any other volunteer to practice? I need two people. Me teacher. Thank you, Manuel and Roberto. So you can start, Manuel, and then Roberto, please. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in U.S. No, I came here one ninety ninety nine. Mm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Excellent job. Thank you. Just again, the year. Can you please repeat it? Can you please repeat this? 1999. 1999. 1999. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see the next things. Now, let's see. We're going to practice this. I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. Now negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. You weren't very old. She wasn't in college. We weren't born in the same country. They weren't in the US in 1998. And here is the explanation about the contraction. Wasn't equal to was plus not. Weren't equal were plus not. So let's see this one. Subject there be was or were. It is going to depend on the subject. If we're going to use was or were. A complement. Here we are going to have subject a bear be in past was or were plus not plus the complement. And we have affirmative and negative sentences. Do you have any question until the moment? Do you have any question until this moment? Yes. What's your question? Was, was a using I'm and she, he, and it. Yes. Right? We are, yes. We are going to use was with the Subject pronouns, I, he, she, and it. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? No more question then. I volunteer to read the affirmative sentences, please. Who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Thank you, Sobeida. I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. Thanks a lot. So I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. Excellent. Thank you, Sobeida. Any other volunteer to practice the affirmative sentences? Me. Thank you. You can start, Roberto, please. I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. Excellent. Now I need another volunteer to practice the negative sentences. Uh, me, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. 
I wasn't born in the USA. You weren't very old. She wasn't in college. We weren't born in the same country. They weren't in the USA in 1998. Thanks a lot. Excellent job. Any other volunteer to practice negative sentences? The last one in this part, please help me with this. Me teacher. Thank you, Vanessa. I wasn't born in the USA. You weren't very old. She wasn't in college. We weren't born in the same country. They weren't in the USA in the 1998. In 1998, 1998. 1998. Thank you. So this is US, US, we say USA when it says US. 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 Decimos USA cuando aparece la aquí, ¿verdad? USA. So we say USA in this case, US. So thank you very much. So let's see, let's solve this exercise. Complete the following sentence using was or where. Letter A, what's the correct answer? I was, I was 18, 18 last year. year. Last year. Okay, excellent. I, I was, was 18 last year, last year, sorry. Like me, right? El año pasado tenía 18. I was 18 last year. Mm -hmm. Nah, that's not true. The next one, Marta and Sara, letter B. Where? Was, where? 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 Ah, okay. Marta and Sara were painful yesterday. Okay, were painful yesterday. Marta and Sara were painful. Tenían dolor ayer. The next one, letter C. Was. Marco was, 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 Marco was healthy last month. Marco was healthy last month. Excellent. Letter D. She was. She was sick, was sick last, week. last week. Thank you. She was sick last week. Perfect. Letter E. We were. We, we were, were, were at, at, at that college. At, 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 we were at that college. Nosotros estuvimos en esa universidad. We were at that college. And the last one, you. You were, you my, were friend. my friend. Was my friend. Okay, you were my friend. No anymore. Le prestó dinero. Ya no somos amigos. You were my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Mejor me enojo y no pago. You were my friend. So let's see. Question eh, and. <laughs> that happened, right? That happened. So letter A, I was 18 last year. Letter B, Marta and Sara were painful yesterday. Letter C, Marco was healthy last month. Letter D, she was sick last week. Letter E, we were at that college. Letter F, you were my friend. Uh, volunteer to practice sentence A, B, and C, please. Me teacher. Thank you, Heidi. I was 80 last year. Marta and Sarah were painful yesterday. In C2. Marcos was healthy last month. Excellent. Healthy. Marco was healthy, healthy last month. Marco was healthy last month. I volunteer to practice D, E, and F, please. D, E, F. Thank you, Roberto. Hello, Roberto, you can start. He was sick last week. We were at that college. You were my friend. Thanks a lot. Excellent job. So let's see, let's continue. Here I have another practice. So let's continue practicing. Number one, Michael Jackson, a very popular artist. He born in 19, 1958. So are you going to use was or where? Was. Michael was. Jackson was. was. 
in the next one was was born he was born excellent so michael jackson was a very popular artist he was born in 1958 last saturday carlos and irma were, were at home were, were at home they, they were they were in the cultural weekend all weekend uh where and or where 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 where, where? 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 last saturday carlos and irma were at home they were in the country all weekend estuvieron en el país toda la semana muy bien was you say where and Ah, oh, that is where in the answer. Mm. Mm. Okay, let me fix this. Falta la, falta la N. Okay. okay, I'm going to fix in this moment. Thanks a lot. Last Saturday, Carlos and Irma weren't at home. They weren't in the country. So let's see. They weren't. It's weren't too in this part. They weren't in the country all weekend. Okay. Let's continue, thank you. We are in this one ring. Now, number three. I, I was worried. Was worried. I was worried because they were, were, were last. Lost. Okay, I was worried because they were lost. Estaba preocupado porque ellos estaban perdidos. Oh, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday in the soccer match, you were worried a lot for the selecta. Yeah, number... select. <laughs> <laughs> number four. Were Valentin <laughs> and Isabella. Okay, were Valentin and Isabel yes, at the party? No, they weren't. No, no, they weren't. Mm, ¿Dónde habrán ido estos muchachos? Were Valentin and Isabel at the party? No, they weren't. At uh, the field. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. For most From people, was, was, one. was, was or where? Was. Was. Where was. Ah, was. Yes. For was. Most, for most people, Pelé was one of the best soccer players in the world. Do you agree? Yes. I yes. agree. Okay. Yes, he was. Right? He was a great soccer player. In, uh, in, in his time, yes. Oh, yes in the good times so six number six where where really oh, what, 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 what were what, your favorite what, subject in high school are you sure is where we are, we are talking about just one subject so subject so what was your favorite subject in high school, it it's was math. In the last one, it was math. Fue matemática. Really? In your case? Sub in your subject, case? What subject was, the meaning is materia? Yes. What was your favorite subject in high school? Do you remember that? What was your favorite subject in high school? ¿Se acuerdan cuál fue su materia favorita en bachillerato? Eh, eh, how do you say sociales? History. Mm. Es ahí, social studies. Es ahí, social social and civic. Social studies. Ciencia. Oh. Matemática. Science. Science. Matemáticas. Oh, literature, literatura. Math. Language. Mm, art. Oh, excellent Doctor. art. You say writing, orthographia, writing, writing and composition. Physical education. 
Oh, physical education. Yeah, me too. Electronic. Oh, electronic. Information technology class. Les gustaba computación. Information technology class. So, so. So, so. Solo les enseñaban pain, ¿verdad? <laughs> Hacer líneas en paint, son square, circles, and that's it. So, any other subject? And what was a subject that you didn't like? ¿Cuál fue una materia que no le gustaba? Language. Oh, language? Mathematics. Mathematics. Wow. Social studies. Okay. English. <laughs> English. <laughs> I didn't like English. Oh, English wasn't my favorite subject. English wasn't my favorite subject. Math wasn't my favorite subject. Physical education. Physical education wasn't my favorite subject. And let's continue. Thanks a lot for your answer. Thank you for your participation in this exercise. Now have a conversation practice. Look at this small conversation practice. Conversation number one. It's a conversation between a man and a woman. How was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. So, Teacher. what is the conversation about? Tell me, do you have a question? What is your question? It's about there. the horror movie. Yes, it's about an horror movie. Yes. Uh, how? Uh, what's the meaning crowded? Crowded is... Crowded is... Lleno. lleno, yes. Ah, oh, okay. Estaba lleno, estaba el cine lleno. Was it crowded? Así como van los buses en la mañana. Yes. Uh, let's see. The woman was at the movie theater. Okay. Uh, and the man is asking about the movie. Question one: How was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. Sorpresivamente, no habían muchas personas ahí. So crowded is como van los buses en la mañana, ¿verdad? When you are going to, to work, so the bus are crowding, llenos. That is the meaning of that word. To volunteers to practice this small conversation, please. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Thank you, Manuel and Heidi. So, Manuel, you're going to be the man, and Heidi, you're going to be the woman. So you, can you please yeah, start? Okay. <laughs> How was the movie? It was really good. What is scary? Scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. Surprising. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Excellent. Now, this word really, really, it was really good. Really. It was really scary. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Heidi. I really appreciate your job. Thank you. That was excellent. Any other two volunteers to practice this small conversation, please? Who wants to participate? Uh, say your name, please. I couldn't Vanessa. see. Uh, Vanessa and? Francisco. Francisco, okay. Francisco, you are the man. Vanessa, you are the woman. Okay. How was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it was. There weren't many people there surprisingly. Thanks a lot. Perfect job. Thank you very much. 
Let's see the next one, conversation number two. Again, it's between a man and a woman. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really, I was there. So what is happening in this conversation? Ah, okay. The man wants to know where she was last night. Donde estuvo ella la noche anterior? Y ella dice, ¿dónde estuvo? En el trabajo. Ah, I was at work. Estuve en el trabajo. Really? De verdad? I was at your shop. Estuve en tu tienda. You weren't there. Tú no estabas ahí. Estabas allí. Mm, and he says, no, I was, I was in the back working. No, I was in the back working. Estaba en la parte de atrás de la tienda trabajando. You were? Really, I was there. Esto vaya, es. vaya. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Bueno. Es un hombre tóxico, ¿verdad? You can see. <laughs> eh, okay. To volunteer to practice this small conversation. There is a word that you don't know in this conversation. Me. Me, teacher. Lizette. Thank you. Thank you, Roberto and Lisette. So you can start the play to, digo, the conversation, please. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really? I was there. Okay, excellent job. Thank you very much. Uh, two volunteers to practice this small conversation. The last two volunteers, please. Me. Thank you, Monica and Francisco. So you can start, Francisco, and then Monica, please. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really, I was there. Okay, thank you very much. That was an excellent job. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you. Thank you, Heidi. Let's see. Uh, Monica, sorry. Thank you, Monica. The conversation number three. How was the test? Oh, look at this. Esta conversación y después del meter. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. So what is this small conversation about? Me. Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think about the test? <laughs> it's English. <laughs> okay, it is about a test, right? It is a conversation after a test. Who took the test? ¿Quién hizo el examen? The man or the woman? The woman. Woman. The woman, woman was. The woman was. Okay. And how was the test? It was really hard. Easy or difficult? It was easy really? or difficult? Difficult. It was difficult. It was difficult. How long was it? How many questions or problems did the test have? Twenty. 20, uh, yeah. what was your score? What was the woman's score? Calculando según lo que dice, probablemente five or six, right? Yes. <laughs> so it says, yeah. let's just say it wasn't no fue, great. No fue bueno. But it wasn't bad either. So probablemente lo pasó, ¿verdad? Dejando los pelos en el alambre, decía el teacher. 
<laughs> Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Two volunteers to practice this uh, conversation. Kelly and Kelly and Manuel. Manuel, you can start, please. Okay. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah. What was your score? Let's just say, I it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Thank you very much. Let's see the last conversation, conversation number four. Uh, question, do you have any question? Yes, only have a question. Tell me, what is the your last, question? The last part, cuando dice la mujer, but I wasn't bad either. ¿Qué es lo que intenta decir con eso? I see it wasn't great. No fue grandioso, but it wasn't bad. Pero tampoco. tampoco fue malo. Ajá, tampoco fue malo. Y de hecho, tampoco, in this case. So, let's see the last one, conversation number four. Do you know who was at the party? Jason was there. So was Sue. Were Tony and Katie there? No, they weren't there, but their song was. Oh, I see. So was it fun? Yeah, it was a fun evening. What is the conversation about? About party. Was at the party. Ah, okay. It is about who was at the party. Es acerca de quienes estuvieron en, una, en la fiesta, ¿verdad? Probablemente al muchacho no le dio permiso a la esposa y no pudo ir, ¿verdad? So, quiere averiguar quiénes sí fueron. Oh, tóxico. <laughs> so, do you know who was at the party? Jason was there. So was Sue. Jason estuvo ahí y Sue también. Were Tom and Katie there? Estuvo Tom y Katy ahí? No, they weren't there. Ellos no estuvieron ahí, but their son was. Pero su hijo estuvo. Oh, I see. So, was it fun? Así que, ¿estuvo divertida? Yeah, it was a fun evening. Sí, fue una tarde divertida. Ah, oh, sorry, una noche. Fue una noche divertida. Two volunteers to practice this small conversation. Mi teacher. Thank, thank you, Heidi and Francisco. You can start, Francisco, please. Okay. Do you know who was at the party? Jason was there. So was Sue. Were Tom and Katie there? No, they weren't there. But their song was. Oh, I see. So was it fun? Yeah, it's one a uh, fun evening. Evening, perdón. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. So do you have any question? No question. Okay, no now problem. let's now we have a final practice here. You have to read the question and you're going to choose the correct answer. So you have to match. In this exercise, you have to match the numbers and the letter. So let's see, for example, question one, where were you, where are you at home yesterday? Where are you at home yesterday? Send, you're going to look for the answer here in this chart with the letter and you're going to say, for example, C, one C, two, a, that's an example. So read the question and look for the answer and tell me. One D. One D, let's see, were you at home yesterday? No, I wasn't, I was at a concert. Yes, that's the correct answer. Was Ryan in class yesterday? Letter E. E. Letter B, yes, she was. We were both there. Okay, excellent. Ah, oh, sorry. You say B or D? 
because Ryan is he e? and B is she. E. 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 Ah, e. no, he wasn't. He was it. Okay. Excellent. Two E. Was the concert good? A. E. No, he yeah. wasn't. The music. No, he wasn't. The music was very well. Excellent. Thank you. Number four. Was the movie interesting? C. Little C. Okay. Yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. And the last one was Susan at the library yesterday. B. B. Yes, she was. We he were about there. So look at the answer. One D. 2E, 3A, 4C, and 5B. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, now I need two volunteers, please. Who wants to practice? Me. Me, teacher. Thank you, Manuel and Vanessa. So, Vanessa, can you please read the question? And Manuel, you are going to read the answers, please. Was the concert good? Uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't. The music was pretty bad. Next was, one. Was Ryan in class yesterday? Okay. Uh, no, he wasn't. He was sick. Was Susan at the library yesterday? Yes, she was. We were bad here, bad there, bad there. Both. Was, we, sorry, we were both there. We were both there. Ambos. Okay. Yes. Was the movie interesting? <laughs> yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. And were you at home yesterday? No, I wasn't. I was at concert. I was at the concert. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, the last two volunteers, the last two volunteers tonight, who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Thank you. Francisco and? Mario. Mario. Francisco and Mario. So, Mario, can you please read the question and Francisco the answers, please? Were you at home yesterday? Uh, no, I wasn't. I was at a concert. Was Ryan in class yesterday? No, he wasn't. He was sick. Was the concert good? No, it wasn't. The music was pretty bad. Was the movie interesting? Yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. Was Susan at the library yesterday? Yes, she was. We were both there. Excellent job, thank you. So these were library, library. Library. And this other one, what the one? great. Matt Damon is a great actor. Great. Okay, guys, do you have any question about today class? Questions? No, teacher, I understand. No oh, okay. Okay, excellent then. Um, yes, please. Um, today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday. Finally, it's Friday. And then you are going to have a weekend. The weekend is coming. I hope you enjoy your weekend, that you relax, that you rest a lot, and you enjoy with your family. But please don't forget about the platform exercises. No se les olvide, por favor, los ejercicios en la plataforma. Eh, you have to complete them, and also the evaluation, the final test. If you can do it during this coming weekend, it is going to be perfect. I finished. I have already finished. Uh, con respecto a los diplomas, me preguntaron algunos que ya terminaron, ¿verdad? 
y me comentaba que el proveedor ¿verdad? De él, o los administradores de la plataforma aún no lo, no lo han habilitado. ¿verdad? Así que tengamos paciencia, pero si usted ya terminó, esté seguro que va a recibir su diploma. Cuando se active la opción, le va a aparecer sin ningún problema. Solo tengamos un poquito de paciencia con respecto a eso. ¿Qué, qué día finaliza? The next Thursday. Thursday 21st. October 21st. Okay. Then if you don't have any other question, have a good night, sleep well, enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye teacher. everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Bye bye, Heidi. Bye bye, Francisco. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. bye, -bye. Sorry. <laughs>